because it is peach season here in Arizona. So once uh, you pick all of those delicious peaches, you need some recipes, of course, to yes. use them and a familiar voice in the valley. And I'm not, I say voice because you are a big time radio DJ. This is Monte Carlo. Big time. That's yeah, hilarious. That's right. I love that. Hey, it's okay. As long as we say it, they'll believe it, right? Yes. This is Monte Carlo. She's the host of My Mornings with Monty on My 103.9. And I am so excited to meet you. I am excited to be here. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for coming in. And you love to do some dessert dishes, and you're doing a peachy tart. I, it's a peachy, easy peachy rhubarb tart. Rhubarb and peaches are in season right now. You can go pick them. They grow them locally. It's super easy to peel a peach and pit it. You just slice it in half, right down the hairline, use a spoon to take the pit out, and then peel it. It's well, going to end up looking like this. How do you have time to do all this when you're on the radio every morning? How do you have time to do all these great how dishes? How do moms have time to do anything? <laughs> moms get it done, man. Moms get it done. Yes. So you can spend some quality time with your kids by putting this tart together. You just slice the peaches up. And then the rhubarb, you're going to slice on the diagonal as well in very thin slices. For those slices. who haven't tried rhubarb, now a lot of people love rhubarb, but if you haven't tried it, what does it taste it's like? It's very tart. It can be bitter. Um, but it's delicious and it goes amazing with summer produce like mm -hmm. peaches and of course obviously traditionally strawberries. You're going to soak it in a marinade that you make with half a cup sherry, one tablespoon of ground ginger, and a half a cup brown sugar. You're going to mix all of that together and whisk it nice and neat. Yeah, Let's you see. were using that whisk. We saw it. We saw it. And we're going to mix there it all go. up. You're going to soak all these goodness in for 10 minutes. And while that's soaking, you're going to prepare a nice little cream cheese bottom for your tart. So and she's like in Healy's back here. You're like grease lightning. I, I'm like running to keep up with you. I love it. I love it. Now you have a four-year-old and she's me. I mean, a four-year-old four son. Tell us a little bit about He has a very cool name. Tell his us about his name. His name is Danger and Joan Cusack, who is the sister of my number one on my top five ultimate dream makeout list, John Cusack. <laughs> um, and you were she named him. Her? She, I was interviewing her and I was upset because I wanted to name him after Batman, Bruce Wayne, and it wasn't going to happen. My husband at the time was not going to have it. Uh, that's a half a cup brown sugar and then a teaspoon of lemon juice with one egg and a package of cream cheese to make your... It's going to taste like Danish, like a lemony Danish filling. Okay. Yeah, it goes great with the tart. Anyway, she said, you should name him Danger. And I said, of course I'm going to do that. Of course, because you told me to, and it's the coolest name ever, and also, I love that. I love that. Can I make out with your brother? <laughs> Did that come up in the interview? Oh, yes. Oh, okay, perfect. A lot. So she named your son, and then you asked, you know, if you could make out with a brother. What was the answer? No. No, of course not. Of course not. Heartbreak. <laughs> this is puff pastry. Puff pastry is a secret to getting a dessert on the table in under an hour. It comes in these sheets, mm -hmm. and you would freeze it and then defrost it for 40 minutes. Um, for this preparation, you're just going to need a half of the pastry. Mm -hmm. This is it here. You roll it out to about 11 by 6 inches. And then you're going to score it. Scoring is basically making little holes all over the tart or the pastry. I'm going to turn this off so we can make sure we can hear it. You still need it to go or can I? Oh, yeah, let's turn it off because okay. I have extras already made. Okay, perfect. Scoring allows the pastry to not swell up because as you know puff pastry gets really puffy. Now you do radio but it looks like cooking is your passion is that? I love cooking it's because you know what when you're a busy mom it's so hard to find time to spend quality time with your kids. Right. Um, so you but can go, you could pick peaches. You can go pick peaches <laughs> you can cook together and that's what amazing. What can I get you because so I feel fun. like I'm absolutely no help to you right now. No you are good. Here let's do this. <laughs> let's prepare the tart. Okay, so we have here some cream cheese. You can spread it. You got it. And as you see, I've scored the tart all over. Straight down the middle? Yeah. Okay. Do that. See how and easy that is? is? The, and this is what you made with the cream cheese and you were yes. blending. Okay. And it's a nice is that little lemon leaf. It's never too much. Okay. You can't mess up a tart. That's Perfect. what's great about it. And that's why your kid can do it with you. So then you're going to layer the rhubarb and the peaches. And however you want to do it is fine. I love letting my kid do this, which is why it always looks like a monster put it together. I love that. His name is Danger, so hey, yeah, what so do it you works. expect? You're going to layer that all over, and then you're going to strain the juices of this um, marinade. Mm -hmm. so Once gonna, those are strained, oh, nice. you're going to make a caramel with them, and you would basically... 
Okay. Simmer them down. It's called reducing. So you reduce them it. from a, a half a cup to this beautiful consistency. You're okay. going to add a little bit of butter and a little bit of cream in the final step. And come on over here. Take a look in this oven. Yummy. Look at the tart. Oh, we had to pull it out. Oh, wow. It looks fantastic. She's been baking all morning. I mean, it's not like she didn't have anything to do, right? So tell us when we can hear you on the radio. I am on the air from 6 a.m. to noon on My1039. And we're just going to finish this off with a little drizzle of caramel. What do you oh, think? Oh, that looks so delicious. It smells even better. And you've been so kind. Monty has been so kind to share this recipe with us. We've put it on SonoranLiving.com. A peachy rhubarb tart with a wonderful caramel drizzle. Amazing. That's we a lot of caramel. It. Yeah, my <laughs> 3.9. You've been delightful. Say hello to Danger for us. I We're will. We're going to take that off the heat. You have been, I'm telling you, she is grease lightning in the kitchen, all right? She's not only great on the radio, she's even better in the kitchen. Thanks for coming in. I didn't set fire to your kitchen. I'm so excited. Hey, we didn't expect you to. You did fabulous. Thank you. High five on that one. We'll see. We'll put it on sonorliving.com if you want to make this recipe for your dad this Father's Day.